Next up at UFC Vegas 85, we have Randy Brown taking on Muslim Salikov. Randy Brown, 17 and 5 overall, 4 and 1 in his last five years, coming off that very straightforward win over Wellington Terman. He's taking on Muslim Salikov. Muslim Salikov is 19 and 4, 3 and 2 in his last five. He's coming off the loss to Nicholas Dalby. This is a late edition fight. Neither one of these guys were on this card already, already, but this fight was added maybe three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, something like that. So I don't know if they were on other cards or how this ended up here, but this fight just popped up out of nowhere. We got Randy Brown. This guy's a good striker. He uses his range really well. He's very, very tall for this weight class, and he takes advantage of that. He uses long jabs. And he's going to kick to keep you at bay. But then when he's ready, he's going to use the speed, use that range, and initiate some boxing exchanges. He has nine takedowns in the UFC. And while he doesn't go to them often, he's got nice trips and solid jujitsu on the mat. He's very good and a lot of fun to watch. He's coming off the bounce back win over Wellington Terman, where he won the striking and the grappling exchanges. Taking on Muslim Salikov. This guy is quite old, but... Solid striker. He hits very hard. He's got wrestling if he needs it. He doesn't hold anything back. Almost every single strike he throws is a significant strike. He's got good takedown defense, solid takedown offense. Very, very good striking. He is coming off that loss, though, to Nicholas Dalby, where he landed more strikes, and he did have a couple of takedowns, but he was backing up, and he gave up more than six minutes of control. Muslim's going to be dangerous in this fight and every other fight that he's in, but he is slowing down. He's pushing 40 He's starting to lose 40 He's starting to lose cardio. Doesn't seem to have that sting in his punches anymore. I think Randy's going to play that outside game. Randy has no problem being technical, taking his time. And I think that's what he's going to do here. And I think that's going to get him the win. So Randy is the pick. And I am pretty confident in that. What do you think, Jakey boy? Yeah. Uh, so Randy's going to be my pick as well. But trusting a guy like Randy, in my mind, is a very hard thing to do because Randy is a good fighter but Randy also knows that he's a good fighter and he gets in there and he gets a little bit wild he gets a little bit crazy he gets a little bit lazy in the defense and you saw that happen against Jack Della Maddalena which this same situation could happen I'm begging Randy Brown now right now that you got to respect Muslim. You got to respect his power because, yeah, he's 40 years old, whatever he is, but he's still got some nice pop to those shots. And if you watch those Nic the, the Nicholas Dalby fight, there's some shots there that if it's not Nicholas Dalby in that fight, people are probably getting dropped. And he came in against Jack Della Maddalena. And Jack Della Maddalena just kind of took his time, had the nice high boxing guard, was just eating shots, and Randy Brown's popping the jab, popping the jab, hands low, head movement, gets against the fence, tries to get a little cute instead of putting his hands up and exiting out of the clinch. He gets a little bit cute with the head movement and gets put out. I think this fight's going to be very, very close because I believe that Randy Brown is going to get a little overconfident in the first round. I think he's going to get hit with some power, and people are going to be like, ah, oh, man, that was a good, powerful shot. Who won that first round? And then we're going to get to the second round, and Randy's going to now respect Muslim. And if he respects Muslim, he's going to be trying to point fight Muslim. And if, if he's point fighting Muslim, I think it's a, I think it's, I think it could be 50-50. So I, I'm going Randy Brown here, but he, to me, he is a hard guy to trust because he's the better fighter here, but he gets a little bit lax of days going his defense, and Muslim, I think, still has some pop in the in the karate style that he throws so randy's the pick he's the better fighter it's a tough one for me i l listen i hear you and it, it is tricky because i am confident in randy to win i think the age is a factor the speed the range all fighter. of those things he's yeah better fighter. but i agree like you can't always count on him he's not the most reliable person in the world but this is also a sketchy card like outside of natalia silva it's a pretty small playing field of who the confident picks are. So Randy Brown's got to be one of my more confident picks. But to your point, my most confident pick or one of my more confident picks on this card versus another card are very different picks. So I hear what you're saying. Muslim is dangerous. Dude only has four losses. He's got the better body of work so far. And Randy Brown, that that one in that four and one in his last five was just Randy Brown being Randy Brown, which is concerning, but. We're both on the Randy Brown side. The yeah, odds of this lost, fight. I, honestly, I thought he lost to Wellington. So, oh, I, 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 I don't know. I thought I thought he won that fight. The fact that he won the grappling oh, exchanges another, was like another, uh, argument lost yeah. for you. Sure. 
the fact that he won the grappling exchanges was like, okay, well, that was supposed to be Wellington's thing. I'm starving. All right. Well, we got two left. You're going to spend the $9,100 in DraftKings? He's going to need to finish Muslim, and Muslim is tough, so that's not going to be worth it. Not for me. Yep. I agree. If you want to check out all the bets, the picks, the round line leans, and more from not only me and Jacob, but six other analysts, go to wewantpicks.com, click become a member at the top. It is only $10 a month. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.